Hello, I'm John Basili, COO and Product Manager for Stream Dudes. As you may or may not know, vMix has proudly came out with its 17th version of its software and it is exceptional. In fact, we're actually using it right now to record this video because there's some cool functionality that they've added to 17 that uh, I think is going to help and revolutionize the way we do video production and it's certainly going to help a lot of integrators. As you may have seen in our previous video, we've shown how easy it is to take in a camera through RTSP camera feeds when using the PTZ Optics PTZ cameras. So, keeping that same functionality in mind, vMix has made it better. First off, they've worked with NewTek on NDI. For those of you unfamiliar with NDI, it is basically an easy way that uh, computers and other devices on a network can see each other via IP address. Uh, this is great for control, sharing desktops and low latency, cameras, gamers are going to love it because it works great with their systems. But aside from all that, what does it all mean? Better functionality for you, the end user. And here at Stream Dudes, we're going to work with you on how you could exploit every one of these new features in vMix 17. But first, this video, we want to show you some of the cooler features that they've added for the PTZ Optics cameras including native PTZ control. Check this out. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to put in the IP address of our camera. There it is. So I'm just going to go ahead and log right in. Alright. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the network settings. Over here is where you could adjust your IP settings. You could turn them into a static or you could use dynamic. For the sake of this uh, setup, we're just doing a dynamic setup because we're using the system in my home office, which as you can tell right here, certainly doesn't look like our studio. But there's a reason for that. And this is what I'm going to show you shortly. So going back to setting up the camera for use in vMix, what we're going to do is we're going to look for this RTSP port, which is 554. So that in combination with the website address of the camera, or the IP address rather of the camera, we're going to go ahead and bring in the video into vMix. Here's how we do it. Add input, go to stream, and as you can see we already had it set up in here so we put in the RTSP uh, 192.168.2.169 and if you notice I did the colon uh, port number but also I did a slash for one. One refers to the stream that's coming out of the camera. So we want stream number one, which is the HD stream coming out. I'm going to work in a low latency mode, and I'm going to go ahead and click this, hit OK, and you'll notice that our camera is popped up right here. And this is our PTZ Optics camera that's actually live right now as we speak. So that was part one of taking in the feed. Part two is the fun part. So we click the little gear down here, and as you notice, uh, we have this option now in version 17 called PTZ. We're going to go ahead, we're going to select the type, and right here it's um, the PTZ Optics uh, Visco over UDP. We're going to select that, and we'll put in the IP address of the camera, 192.168.2.169. Now here's something interesting. That's all I have to do, and now watch. I'm actually able to move the camera around in real time and this is over my own home network and that's why I wanted to do it here and not in the office because I wanted to show you something. That is my router. It is nothing special. It is a very simple little Asus router that I think cost me a total of like 40 bucks. But it works. I'm able to stream the camera and control it very simply through here. Now I also want to show you something. We have this thing that says create input at this position. I'm going to select that. And now what this is going to do is this is going to change and create a new input with this camera position. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. Let's uh, let's pan it back. And uh, let's zoom in on the penguins. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to just take it right in on these penguins. There we go. And now what I could do here is oh, overshot it. Uh, I could go create an input at this position. And now it's update input number 7. Now let's say I want to do Homer Simpson that's sitting right up here. And we could zoom in on Homer. There we go. Oh, held on it a little too long. 
Okay, and we're going to go create an input at this position. So we now have three positions that we have created here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close out of this window. And as you'll see, I officially have this position here and the camera moves right to it. I don't have to do a thing. That's the beauty of it. It memorized all these positions. So now I click on the penguins and it remembers to zoom in on the penguins. So it's ready to go. So I'm ready to take that camera shot. I just go ahead, I take it live, and there we go. We go ahead and have the penguins right there. So now if I want to go to the other camera shot, I could cut back to myself talking, and off camera I could go ahead and call up Homer. It'll go up to Homer, and now I cut back in on Homer, and now back to me. So, very simply put, this is awesome because now there are no SDI cables or HDMI cables that need to be ran back to the box. No need for an external controller. Everything is done here in the vMix software. So for more information, I encourage you, reach out to us at Stream Dudes. Go to www.streamdudes.com or send us an email at info at streamdudes.com. Again, thank you so much for your time. I look forward to working with you. Hey, integrators. Uh, we're always looking to work with you guys, especially with this new NDI stuff for version 17. It's excellent. Take that in combination with these amazing PTZ Optics cameras, and I guarantee you all the workflow that all your clients would love, especially if you're a house of worship. This is perfect for you. This is an ideal workflow that's insanely cost-effective. Again, reach out to us at StreamDudes. We look forward to working with you. Again, thank you for your time. I'm John Basili, COO and Product Manager for StreamDudes.